termite field. Oh, what's that noise? Seems very weird and big. Could it be an elephant? I'm going in to check it out. Me too. <laughs> Wait up, bro. Uh, it's not an elephant. Oh, oh, that's a big male sloth bear. Males are bigger than females, and his hair is even messier. Those claws! Those claws are long and curved, just like the sloths. Uh-oh. Male bears can sometimes kill cubs. Well, let's hide them then. Yes, Shaq, Shaq in. You guys hide in here. Wow, I bet he got his name from those claws. Look at that power. Yeah, he's after termites. Good observation, Mala. What else do you see, bros? Claws break bound. Expose termite tunnels. Prehensile lips cover tunnel. Nostrils close. And he starts sucking up termites like a vacuum cleaner. Interesting. But I need more details. These sloth bear lips are really flexible. They can wrap around the tunnel entrance and create an airtight seal. And the bear closes his nostrils, so no air can get in and out of the tunnel. So when the bear sucks in, all the air in the tunnel goes into the bear, sucking the termites with it. Suction! The sloth bear creates suction. Activating x-ray analysis. Oh, yeah! The suction is sucking the termites right into the bear's mouth. He's definitely using suction. So he can suck up termites like a vacuum cleaner. And that's why I'm going to name you Shaggy Vacuum. That's one great creature power. The sloth bear is the only animal we know of that uses the physics of suction to eat termites. Plus, it has bear strength and sloth-like claws. This is going to be a very interesting creature power suit. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those sloth bear power discs. 